four channels of bevel gates. This is the pitch cone of the pinion. DP is the pitch circle diameter. B is face width. A naught is cone distance. Separating force and tangential component are acting at B by 2 distance. Then from the axis to this point of contact distance is RM. Assume that pinion is rotating in the counterclockwise direction when it is observed from the left hand side. The other gear wheel is the driven member. The force acting separating force and tangential component are as shown here. To find the RM value consider the triangle as shown. RM is the opposite side. A naught minus B by 2. That means from this point to this apex this distance is the A naught minus this B by 2 then it will be something like this. This is the theta. Then if you take sin theta sin theta equal to rm opposite side by hypotenuse that is a0 minus b by 2 rm value is sin theta into a0 minus b by 2 to get a0 value consider the another triangle that is dp this total distance divided by this a0 that is the sin theta value dp by dp by 2 by 2a0 <clears throat> then a0 equal to dp by 2 sin theta substitute this a0 value in equation 1 after substitution it will be something like this in place of a0 you substitute it it will be something like this then multiply this with this sin theta then rm value will be dp by 2 minus b sin theta by 2 once finding the rm value next my aim is to determine the separating component ps value and tangential component value for that the total force is resolved into its component separating force and tangential component so this tangential component value is obtained from the power from the power moment can be calculated once the moment is known, then moment equal to Pt into Rm. That means Pt equal to moment by Rm. But to get the separating force, remember the terminology of spur gears. In spur gears, the resultant component is splitted into its tangential component and radial component. There, radial component is the separating force. But here separating force is not acting in the radial direction in case of bevel gears. That's why you can't call this as a radial component. You have to call this as a separating force. Same equation which you have obtained in spur gears can be utilized here. Only difference is instead of calling this as a PR, call this as PS. Since PS is not acting in the radial direction. So, separating force PS equal to Pt into tan alpha. Alpha is a pressure angle. Now, this PS is resolved into radial component and axial component as shown here. PS is acting like this. This angle is theta. Automatically, this angle will become theta. Now, splitting this PS into its radial component and axial component, it will be something like this. Then on the other driven member, the opposite force will act. Here, PR is acting in this direction. The reaction of this PR is this, but this is acting in the axial direction. That's why we call this as PA. Here, PA is acting like this towards your left hand side. Reaction will be like this towards your right hand side, but that will become the radial direction for the driven gear. So, call this as a PR. Now with respect to pinion, find out the radial component and axial component. Then automatically radial component and axial component for the, for the gear can be obtained. Now if you consider the pinion, radial component PR is PS cos theta. 
axial component PA equal to PS sin theta. PS value is known to you. PS equal to PT tan alpha. Substitute that PT tan alpha here. Once you substitute the PS value, then PR equal to PT tan alpha cos theta. PA equal to PT tan alpha sin theta. On the driven gear, components are find using the action and reaction concept. Here, radial component of gear is the axial component of a pinion. Axial, axial component of gear is the radial component of the pinion. For bevel gears, this theta is 0. If you consider theta is 0, then cos 0 value is 1. Automatically, radial component, component is Pt tan alpha. Okay, that you are getting. That means this equation is satisfied by taking theta as 0. When the theta is 0, sin theta value is 0. That means PA value is 0. That means sin in spur gears axial component is 0. In that way, you can verify these equations for spur gears also. So, these are the equations for radial component and axial component of bevel gears.